So this is a video response for Just Terrific on Instagram. Um, she was asking about how I get the edges of my books nice and neat and clean. Here's an example of the edges of the book. Completely flush. And the here's a book that has not been trimmed on the edges. Makes it hard to leaf through the pages. Um, so what I use instead of a tool that would normally cost about two hundred dollars is uh, this right here, and um, it uh, is about a five dollar chisel I got at the hardware store. It had a flat top on it. I took it to a table grinder and um, and rounded it and got a pretty rough edge. Um, but where I wanted it. And then I went from the table grinder to uh, an angle grinder and smoothed it out real good. Then after that, I used um, sandpaper on a piece of glass to get the, the um, bottom edge completely flat. Um, and taking my time with a uh, file and a uh, sharpening stone and more sandpaper of different um, grits, I've uh, got the top nice and smooth and it has a pretty razor edge on it I'll take it to a leather strop every once in a while and clean it up but I haven't had to resharpen this and it um, does a nice edge I'll show you how it works in just a second so I get my book and line up the back um, between two boards this front board acts as um, the guide of where flat is so you keep the edge always flat on that board and um, the backboard just kind of um, holds the book all together so the pages don't bend when you push on them and you just um, so this press I made just two pieces of two by four with some through bolts um, and this, these are some oak um, boards that I use for they have um, a brass um, angled edge on the other side for rounding the spines. Um, all this I made. Um, and But right now I'm going to start shaving off the, the fore edge of this book. Um, you only need to worry about getting a few sheets at one time because you want to really take your time and not push too hard and they'll come out nice and smooth but always putting pressure on the board so the board stays flat or the, the blade stays flat and they just start to come off pieces I save this this paper because it's a uh, it's nice um, acid free paper that I am I save all the little scraps to eventually try to make some handmade paper um, I haven't done it yet so we'll see when I get there and it's round because you can get a real smooth cut against the paper no jagged edge taking your time always making sure that you're flat on the board I know it would probably be easier if I had a wider guide board, but this blade isn't that long. I wouldn't be able to get much more of it. I'm probably going to be doing another one of these blades uh, that is going to be out of a longer piece. And this is really thin easy to work with paper it's 
It's called Tomoe River Paper. It's from Japan. It's spelled T-O-M-O-E. And it's really hard to come by. Um, I got it from someone who I think gets it from a group by on a website, um, a forum that I am on called Fountain Pen Network. And um, Penhand is the, the username if you're looking to get try some of this. It's really thin, like Bible thin. And um, But if you're a fountain pen user, it's great because it holds the ink well enough on the surface to so you can see the coloration of your ink really nice and uh, but at the same time the ink doesn't really bleed through it's it has a a lot of uh, um, I don't know what causes that if it's the way that they size the paper or what probably um, I'm going back and getting some of these edges there, there's some ridges that I missed, and so I'm just kind of like um, keeping it flush and seeing if it catches on anything. And if it does, then I shave that off. But nothing's really catching. A little bit here at the end. And what we have... And I just clamped this press to my work table with these two vices here so you can push real hard on it. And there you have it. Nice clean edge. Easy to leap through. A guillotine might be easier, but I like doing it by hand. I like that I made the tool that makes this possible. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe down below. Um, check out my books. I'm coming up with a bunch of new books that are going to be on my Etsy shop very shortly. Some of these Tomoe River books will be on there.